Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I've got a great collection of Christmas stamps for you from our friends at Hunky Dory for the love of stamps. This is the sketchbook collection. They're very fine detailed stamps. They're great if you love to color stamps like I do and like my friend Debbie does. So this one is the Santa Express, the cozy fireplace, snowy cottage, the church choir, and this one is a toy shop. So I can't wait to show you what we did with them. So come play with us. So this first card is one that my friend Debbie made and she's used the toy shop stamp. And you can see right here, there's one with Santa, it's kind of hard to see, with Santa in the window right here. And then of course, all of these cute little square stamps and then the little greetings and the little shelf of toys. So she used for her card base, these are brand new glitter cardstock cards, okay? They are five by six and a half inches. And she actually just took the outside edge, well she scored it down each side and then folded it in because this is a gatefold card. Is that great? Oops. <laughs> and then once she had her gatefold done, of course I should tell you that these um, also come with envelopes. She used this brand new um, six by six pattern cardstock called Joyful Christmas. And it's got these wonderful, great plaid backgrounds. We saw these um, actually in conjunction with another um, collection we were going to do and it got sort of put on the back burner and Debbie and I said, hey, we love these plaids. Please, can we have these plaids? It's always great just to have simple backgrounds. So um, she covered her panels or put panels on either side. And then she also took a little black cardstock and matted each piece. And then she also took some gold, woo, sparkle paper, or cardstock rather, and matted those. So this card has a lot of sparkle to it. She colored her images, well I should say first she stamped them with um, black ink. And because she used Try blend markers, okay, which are alcohol pens, and I'll speak to those in a moment. You need to use a ink that is alcohol proof. So Spectrum Noir, who makes the Tri Blend, made it easy, and they just made something called alcohol proof dye ink. It's black, um, but you can also use Tuxedo Black Memento ink. So we have both of these at Paper Wishes. Both of them are a water-based dye ink, so that the water does not react with the alcohol. So if you were to use an alcohol-based ink, it would make them bleed. So um, now let's take a look. Okay, what did I just drop? Now let's take a look at some of these Tribal markers. If you're not familiar with these, let's pick one out. These are three markers in one. This one is the dark red. So here is the, the darkest shade. And then it has a mid or a medium shade. I like to start when I'm blending, I just start in the darker color and then I just blend it down. Whoa, this one is getting dry. Man, I've been using this marker for months, you guys. So you know how many cards we do. That is a testament to how long it lasts. Here we go. And you see how it gives you that ombre effect? It goes from light to light to dark and really, really easy to use and to blend. So we use those a lot on this project. I'm gonna see what I dropped a minute ago. Oh, my white embossing powder, we're gonna need that. Okay, so that is one beautiful card down. All right, I gotta get organized here, sorry. All right, here is another card, here is one that I made using a slimline card. So this is eight and a half by three and a half inches. Then I cut some of this wonderful blue paper from the wood and texture paper pack. And I cut that down just a little bit smaller than my card. And then I used the Santa Express and it's got a great little train in here. I stamped that again with the, I used Memento ink on this one. And then of course used the wonderful tribal markers and i'm not going to go through and name all the different colors that we used on these because it was a lot 
Um, but you can find all of the supplies that we listed on each project in the gallery, photo gallery below the video. So make sure to check that out. Um, and also all the supplies are listed um, below the video as well. So you can just add them to your cart if you're interested in them. So I did some coloring there and then I used this great stuff, Cosmic Shimmer Fluffy Stuff. And I created some snow on my scene. So let's maybe zoom in a little bit on this, Steve. And then I left some off where I did not put snow and I wanted to show you how this worked. So, let's see, I'm gonna take my fluffy stuff and I'm just gonna put some, squeeze it out. You can also use this you know, without heat activating it and it just dries, woo, hello. It just dries um, very nicely. But I wanna put some around that little bag, little toy present bag, and then we're gonna use a heat gun, so we have to heat activate this. But it's great because it gives us dimension. Usually I would not do this when my card is at this stage, um, but we're just improvising here. You see how that's just fluffing right up there? Ooh. And um, so I have that all over the little parts of my card where it's got dimension. Ooh. See that. All right, as I said, I wouldn't normally do that at that stage, but that's the way it was. So around my card, I wanted to put something around it that was a little different, give it a little more focal, so I used the this center frame with the little dots on it from the classic oval frame from Hot Off the Press. And I used our white glitter cardstock, which die cuts beautifully. Then I added a little blue bow with a little gingham. And of course, once I stamped my greeting there, I just took a pen here. This is the ice blue blend. And I just took a little light, the lightest color, and I just went over just that part of that greeting just to give it a little pop of color. Right, and the next one I've got for you here. This is the Cozy Fireplace. And I wanted to give you an example of a card that didn't use the, the great big stamp. I just used this sort of table setting stamp right here. And I made a window in my card. So the first thing I did was take my card. Um, this is a five by six and a half inch card. And I went ahead and covered that or cut my paper a little bit smaller than the card. This is the poinsettia passion 12 by 12 cardstock. And then there's also coordinating solid cardstock to go with it. And I put that there and then I didn't grab my rectangle die. I put a rectangle die right there. Then I took a scrap of cardstock and I laid it there on my card and I folded this part over. Of course there was nothing here <laughs> when I did that. It's just blank. And then the reason I did that was because I have a big shot die cutting machine, which is six inches wide, six and eight inches. So this card wouldn't fit through any other way but this way, which is five inches. It wouldn't fit through the six and a half inch way. So I had to put it through like this. And then that allowed me to do that and get this window in here. Then there was also this imprinting on the back of the card, which showed through here. So I covered this with some solid cardstock. So there we go, some little tips. Um, so anyway, I stamped this and then I cut it a little bit larger um, using the memento here. I inked the edges of that black, stamped my little greeting. And then I used these two little guys right here, these stamps, and I did two of them that were the same and one that was different. And then on the front here, I added a poinsettia, little die cut poinsettia using this red mixed glitter and then the gold for the center of my poinsettia. And I used this um, die and assembled this poinsettia flower recently when we did the poinsettia passion webisode, which was not too long ago. So just look in our 
uh, Webisodes Archive Gallery, which is to the right. And you can look on that and it will be called Poinsettia Passion and you'll be able to find that. So you'll be able to find, and sh I'll show you how to assemble that there. All right, um, also I gold embossed right here, okay? Just added a little bit of gold embossing and stamped a greeting there, tucked in a little bit of crepe ribbon. So there we have it on that one. Now I get to go to my friend Debbie's cards, which are always fun to show. So here is one card, is this still pretty? It's got so much sparkle on it, you guys. Look at that. So Debbie used the Snowy Cottage stamp. She actually white embossed on this black cardstock. And how she did that was she used her, she used her translucent clear um, watermark embossing pad. So this is just a clear kind of sticky um, ink pad. Then you just sprinkle the white embossing powder over it. You're gonna have to heat that with a heat gun. And then it gives you sort of this nice raised images right there. So if you, then she painted with some great little pixie sparkles right here, which is just so beautiful. Um, let me see which one she used here. This one is golden marble. To grab which one she, uh, she used the molten gold for the house. And then she used the purple the reason i'm kind of struggling here is because i didn't grab them all what she used but they are listed on the supply list and the groovy grape for the sky so i'm going to show you how to use these um, if you've never used them before they're amazing so i'm going to take some black cardstock we've used them plenty of times on um, white cardstock but never on the black so what you want to do is you want to get a little bit of water and i'm going to grab my craft mat here I'm just going to use my sprayer as a source of water here. And you're going to need just a little paintbrush. We're going to use the molten gold first. Just sprinkle a little bit out. You want to activate that with the water. And look how pretty is that. When you look down at it, it just looks wet. And then when you catch it like that, and wait till it dries, it looks fantastic. Just like that. And then I'm gonna grab a wipe. We're gonna show you what the grape looks like. I'm always so impressed at what it looks like when you're using it on a uh, black cardstock. There's the grape. Ooh, that's a lot. That shine too. And I wanted to show you how that grape looked on the white as well. And it's just got a lot of beautiful shimmer. There we go. So lots of pretty colors in that. Definitely check those out. And those are all listed under our video, under the products used. All right. And here is another card. This one, Debbie did something really great with, this is the church choir. She took a six and a half by five inch card and she stamped the background first. That looks so cool. I love that she did that. She used this stamp right here and just stamped it repeatedly, turned it. And for that, she also stamped, here we go. She also stamped her images using waterproof dye ink. And the reason it's waterproof is because she used these water reactive dye ink pads okay um to color in her little choir and her background so what she did with that was show you a little bit of this water i'm 
sure my brush is clean here. Okay. Anyway, she took, this is a Bordeaux color. She also used pine tree and honey pot. And then this one is ocean blue. So let's just take a look at the pine tree color. Just took a wet brush. And then not only can you use these to stamp with, you can use them to color with, and they're just a wonderful watercolor medium. This blue, which she used for the sky. And then by using this brown ink, not only did she use it to stamp her images with, she used it around the edges of her card to kind of give an antique look. And she used a blending brush to do that. And we've got a couple of different collections of blending brushes. We've got the set of th three, no, four, four. And it uh, goes from large to a nice small one. And then we've got a set of three where there's a very large one. And then the, it's great to have all of them. Okay, and she used that by just dabbing a little bit of that ink and then just using that blending brush there around the corners. And then there's a nice big strip of beautiful snowflake paper that comes from the six by six patterned papers. And she also matted that with some beautiful silver linen cardstock. You guys, as you can see, so many fun things that you can do with these stamps. We've got a great money saver collection. As I'm talking, I'm doing a little housekeeping here because I made a real mess. Um, but if you are watching us on our webisode page at Paper Wishes, um, just look over to the right, just over there, and you will see the Money Saver collection on all of these stamps. And if you're watching us on YouTube, then just look below the video and you'll see a link that will take you to the Paper Wishes webisode page. And there you'll find the money saver and you'll also find the photo gallery with all the supply lists that we use today. And also there is a products used right below that where you can find everything that we use, all the tools. And so thanks for joining me today. Um, and I hope you have as much as I did. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.